Hey, uh, what's up everyone? So in our last two episodes, we were able to uh, create chat APIs and also the messages APIs. And now I want us to consume these APIs on our front end, that is on our client or our React application. So uh, we won't waste any time, let's just uh, dive right in. So now I'm in the client and in the client, I'll go to the SRC folder and we will start by creating a utility function. So in our service, uh, we will still have this file. And right here, we were creating a function to help us to perform the post request. But now we will create a function to help us perform the get request so that we can be able to uh, fetch our data uh, from our backend. Okay, cool. So right here, uh, I'll just go ahead. Let me zoom in a little bit so that everything is super clear for you. Okay, so right here, let's export. Oops, not caps. Let's export here a const a get a request. And this a get request will only accept a URL. So here we'll be having a URL and we'll be able to use it in here to perform the request. So this will be an async function. So let's add async there and right here, or we will do uh, to get uh, the data using fetch is super easy. It's less complicated than post request. So all we need to do is to await and we'll say fetch. And then we just invoke it and pass our URL. So this is it. This will give us a back a response. So we can say const response and we set it to await fetch. Okay. And nothing too complicated there. So to get our data now, we need to call uh, the JSON method. So right here we can say const data will be equal to await and we will say response uh, dot json and we call that method to convert uh, the data we get the data in form of an object so uh, after this uh, we can perform a check for the error and it will be so similar to what we were doing here so we'll check our response uh, the status of okay so uh, right here we will say if it's not too different, just a bit. So right here, you'll still have uh, if response is not okay. Uh, what we will do, we can set a message, red message. And we can set a custom message right here. And we can say uh, an error card. Uh, I think that is enough. So this is just a custom message, but if we have an error uh, from our data object, so right here, if our data here is containing an error instead of uh, uh, the actual data, we'll be having the error in there and we'll have if data dot message exists, uh, then what we will do, we'll set our message here to be equal to data uh, dot message and then uh, before uh, we exit our if statement here we can return error here to be true so i'll set error to be true and also we set our message so when we call this get request if we have an error, what we will get is this particular object with error true and the message. If we don't have an error, we will skip uh, this execution and we will just return our data. So we will return our data, which is this one. And now it will be having our actual data. Okay, cool. Uh, this is it. It's a bit simple than the uh, post request. Okay, now that we have this function to work with, uh, we can jump into our context and we will be creating a new uh, context. So let's call this one chat 
context uh, dot jsx and we open that file okay right here we will need to import uh, several stuff we will bring in the create context uh, from react so let's import uh, create context and that will come from react and uh, another thing we will be needing our get request that method that we just created in our service so we can say import the get uh, request this one that is will come from our utility function services we'll also be needing we'll be needing the base url so let's bring in base url so we had set that area at uh, the very top here so we bring it in and also later on we will be needing our post request we can just import it right now okay so we are importing everything from our uh, utilities uh, and uh, the services okay now let's create our context so right here we can export our const right here we will have the chart context and we'll set it to be equal to create context and we invoke that function uh, let's create our provider component so right here we will export const and now we will have a chart uh, context provider and here we will be receiving uh, the children uh, like that and also we will be receiving the user I'll show you how we will pass the user to this provider and right here we will return so for our chart we will be having uh, some piece of state so we can set them uh, right here we will be having the user charts we will be having set user charts and we'll set this to be equal to use state hook so that will be brought in from react um, you can actually bring them in from uh, the same line so right here create context and also use state hook so why is it use state right here we invoke and our initial value will be null and I also make sure to uh, capitalize that nicely. Okay, so this is uh, our user chart state. When getting the user, we'll be having the loading state and the error. Okay, cool. Now uh, down here, and whatever we will return here is chart context. And then uh, here we will say dot provider. And then uh, in between here, we will load our children uh, which is our child components so let will say children like that and now uh, we will be able to pass here the value plop so that we can pass the value of whichever data that will pass in here to our children so right here uh, I'll use a double curly brackets and then we will now be having our user charts so user charts and we can pass is user charts loading and also we will be passing the user charts error just like that yeah looking good i think so uh, the only thing that remains is first to perform the http request and actually get our users from our backend api so how will we do that uh, we'll be making use of the use effect hook so we can bring it in from our react right here so use effect so when this uh, a context when it in initially loads it will be able to load our use effect and get our user charts and i'll say use effect uh, we invoke it we pass a function here just like that 
and it also have a dependency array here so for the dependency array uh, we will be getting our user charts whenever the user uh, changes okay every time a user change we can be able to get the charts now right here uh, we can say const uh, get user uh, charts so this is a retro function i'm creating here this will be an async function and we pass it like this and then down here we can call this get user charts so let's invoke it here just like this and now right here we can use our service to get our charts so we can first check if we actually have a user id so right here we'll say if user and this is the currently logged in user so if user exists and we actually have id in that user and now we can be able to perform uh, the http request here we can say const response will be equal to await and whatever we will await is our get request service and we invoke it and we should pass our url here so i'll use the back tick and then right here we'll be able to read the uh, base url just like this base url and then stroke charts and then stroke we'll be able to read uh, the user id right here so we can say user and then uh, dot underscore id okay okay this is what we have here this is how we are getting our response and now this response will either be having the error or it will be having our charts we can say if we have an error so if response uh, dot error exists what we do we return immediately and we set our user charts error right here uh, to be just the response and then if we don't have the error that means that everything is fine and we can just set our user charts to be our response okay another thing is the is loading state so right here we can say uh, before we even load uh, our users from the db we say set is um, user charts loading to true and then after that we should uh, clear it up okay so i'll copy this uh, we can do it immediately after this after it has completed another thing we should uh, reset the error every time we want to make the request so i'll copy this there and i'll set this to be null i save and uh, now this is it we set the is loading status we clear the error we make the request we uh okay now right here we should set it back to false since we have completed that and then we check the error and set it and there we go so now when we do this uh we should be having our user charts right here if they they are there if we have an issue then these two uh will give us the response cool now uh, what we need to do is to actually uh make use of this chart context provider and we will do that in our app.jsx file so to make it easy i can just wrap everything so right here i can just say chart uh, context provider like that and it's also imported and now right here we can be able to pass our user prop which we are already getting right here so user and we set this user to be equal to user and now this user will be received as a prop here and we'll be able to make use of the id 
to get the user charts using that user ID. So this will get the charts for the currently logged in user. Uh, pretty nice. And now once we wrap everything with this, we can be able to go to our, uh, what is it? Our chart component here and get our users from uh, our context. So let's jump into pages, then go to chart and we can receive our user charts in this particular file. So just uh, right here, uh, we will say const, we will destructure our user charts, and then we'll also be having is user uh, charts loading. These are the one, the error. Let me just copy these ones. We'll be able to access all of them right here and we'll set this to be equal to the use context hook so use context and it's auto imported and also we pass our chat context to this hook so chat context and also that is auto imported like that so we can just drop these user charts to the console and see if we actually get them so right here you can say console.log of user charts and right here we say uh, user uh, charts and uh, I save that file now we need to have both the front end and the back end running I think right here I already have my back end running make sure you you run yours with nodemon and then I'll add a new one and I will go to the client so I'll cd client and then I'll use npm run dev. Remember we were using vit uh, for our configuration for the client. So npm run dev, hit enter. And uh, hopefully we don't get any issues. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, cool. Let's uh, load these up. I have used control click and this will open on your default browser. So it's opening here. Uh, okay, there we go. Now we are already logged in, showing just these. But at our console, we should be having an array of charts. Let's see. At the console. Okay, we have user charts, but it's empty. So uh, what I can do is to log out and uh, I'll try to log in as John. I don't know if I remember the email, john at gmail.com and the password, uh, fingers crossed this is right. Ah, uh, there we go. Now look, when we log in as John, we get the charts for John. Let me log out, log in as Charles. We should be having a chart for Charles as well. Uh, I will refresh. And yeah, there we go. So we have a chart for both of them. And the reason is because uh, we have these two IDs. One is for Charles, the other one is for John. So uh, both should be having that chart, okay? Uh, I hope that makes sense. Okay, now the next thing that we should do is to actually uh, display the user that we are chatting with right here. So if we are logged in as Charles, we should be able to get the other user detail, that is John, and display the details right here. Uh, the, the same for John, if we are logged in as John, we should be able to display the Charles details, okay? So we'll see uh, how we can do that uh, in the next episode.